Good morning. This is Wednesday, the 14th of September, and it's Coffee with God. I've got a decent cup of coffee here with some amazing crema on it. What a way to start the day. If you have your Bibles, turn to Matthew chapter 6, verse 11. Matthias, who has success, vers 11. And we know, this is not our Father, where Jesus Christ is bezig with his disciples to learn how to bid. En in hy gebed sê hy vir ons, gee ons vandag ons dagelikse brood. He says in the teaching of the Lord's prayer to his disciples, he's teaching them how to pray. He says, give us this day our daily bread. Now we know in the wilderness where there was nothing, where the Israelites couldn't go to the shops and buy and they couldn't store things. They were busy moving through a desert for a number of years. The Lord God provided manna for them. And manna is, what is it? They didn't know what it was. It was God's bread, God's supply, God's provision for them in the desert in this time. Excuse me, my eye was just very itchy. And and they would be instructed to go out and collect just enough of the seed uh, for one day in which to grind up and make a place to make bread with. And on before the Sabbath, they could collect two days. But every other day, they just had to collect enough for that day. And they would make this bread enough for them as a family, and they would eat it up in a day. But, and the Lord here says, give us this day our daily bread. In other words, give us out of your grace uh, what we don't know. Man, her, what is this? We don't know what the Lord is going to provide for us in this day as we go into it. The problem is. We go to shops and we get a salary and we go to shops and we buy a month's salary of groceries or a week's groceries. So every morning when we get up, we just open the cupboards with pride, with arrogance, with, with self-worth. And we just open it and we, and it's there. It's, we've, we've stacked it there. So it's there. It's not like we get out of our tent in the morning in the midst of nowhere with nothing and look around and are thankful when we see, oh, the seed is there again. There's provision for this day. God has provided again this day. So we live in a time where um, it's more difficult, tangibly, in the real things, uh, the the tangible things we can touch and see, uh, to see God's provision. But God's grace is for us and with us in every single day. He's the one who prepares good works for us in every day beforehand so that we can walk in them. And I guess what I'm trying to get across this morning, what I met you all deal for ochtend, is wees dankbaar for die Heere se genade en sien uit, kyk uit na die Heere se genade. En hoe doen ons dit? Wil ons begin die dag met gebed, met geloof. Um, nie in een trots in ons self of een arrogantie in ons self, dat ons weet, ons kan ons vir ons self sorg. Maar, maar geestelik en emotioneel en verhoudingsgewijs en verskil maak gewaas, inpak, om in hierdie dag een inpak, een verskil te maak in iemand anders te lewe. Ek het gister verwees na een hoofseen, wat een groot rol in my lewe gespeel het, hy het nie geweet nie. Hier is een genade, het het oor sy pad gebring, en hierdie klein graad achie, het, het opgesien en iets in hom gesien, wat die heilige geest gebruik het, om my lewe radikaal te transformeer en verander, en ek is so dankbaar. Maar die Heere gaan jou gebruik, gaan my gebruik, in hierdie dag, met die selwe effect, wie weet, miskien een groter effect. En ons moet net oopwees, ons moet met dankbaarheid in elke dag ingaan, um, want die Heere sy genade is in ons, met ons en oor ons, en dier ons, gaan het ander mense raak. And that's so exciting for me to know that in some way today, God's going to pitch up and there's going to be something that I don't understand. What is this? What's this manna? What's this heavenly bread? Where does it come from? It comes from heaven. What's this work? What's this opportunity? What's this? What's the geleemtheid? What's, what's this that's come across my path? It doesn't make sense. It, it, I don't understand. I don't know what it is. But just step into it and be thankful for God's ability to work in, with, through, and out of you to make a difference. So give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day the possibility, the opportunity to impact someone's life with the grace of God, just as his grace has impacted us. But you need to start the day with prayer. You need to be aware that you can even ask for God to give you what you need this day. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I choose to follow you.